Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make your own research profile on Google Sites using simply Google Sites and a Gmail account. So let's get started. So guys, I'm going to take you step by step. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are just going to click, just going to type in Google, Google Sites, and we're just going to go inside and see what we find. So when we go to Google Sites, we are just going to simply click on Google Sites and login. So once you are here, they will ask you for your login, which is your Gmail account. So let me just change it to in English so that you can easily understand what's written here. So this is a simple sign in platform where you are supposed to enter your email ID. For example, if I have this email ID, I'm just, if I just click on this one, you're just simply going to go using Heather Nea's, uh, uh, So convention. guys, here you can see that once you log into your account, you will see this kind of uh, main template. So there are two different sites for Google sites. One is the main site, another one is a classic site. So Google used to use a classic site before, but it doesn't use it anymore. So that's why we're just going to stick with this one. This is currently our labs website, which is also made in Google sites. And we can easily change whatever we like and whatever we want to change. It's easy. So. If you want to create a new slide or new website for your own self, what you can do is you can click on the recently used or just say the blank one, or you can just use the portfolio, even whatever kind of website you are looking for with a free domain. So now if, if you say that you're looking for a work, uh, uh, work related uh, Google website, you can also click over here and you can find whatever you like and whatever suits you the best. For example, if you have a small business, you can also uh, go with this one and there are different uh, variations that you can do. So what we are going to do in this video is that I'm going to select one of them and I'm going to take you through all the simple steps that you can do in simple and easy way. So guys, let's just start with the, just the simple, uh, simple one. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's say we are going to start with something which is already done. So it will be more easier for me to take you through the slides. So let's say, let's say we have a, uh, we have a student portfolio. That's, that's great. So that's a great, uh, thing to start, start from. So let's say this is our, uh, temp temporary, temporary Google site that we just created. And this is just a template. So what you can do is you can do a lot of different things in this one. So for example, this is my website. And if I want to change the name of my website, I'm going to say uh, Heather Neas, or you can say whatever you want to write. So let's say ms, m.se, uh, just a simple caption. If you're a doctor, if you're already a full professor, you can write whatever you want. So this is the main thing that you can do. For example, this is the main uh, template that you currently have. You can change it if you want to. So let me just take you through different things first and then I will explain you each and everything that we are going to do. So let's say in this current template, they have different things which includes the main title, about me section, achievements, strengths, and goals. So let's see if you want to see how does this website looks like, we can easily see how, uh, how this website will look in the, uh, uh, if somebody, uh, someone, someone else accesses it and how will it show appear to them. So in this case, uh, I didn't enter my name over here. So that's why it's not over here. So if I click over here, it's just going to take me in the main uh, section. If I click on the home, it's going to take me to the home. If I click on activities, it is going to take me to the next step, which I already had. So let's say if this is robotics and band, I can also add description, uh, anything that I want to add. Let's say if I go in classes, I have different options, which includes math and art. So these are just the sections that we created. Okay, so this is just one uh, one example. Now let's just go a little bit deep in this and see how we can do that. Okay, let's say this is your main section. We go to the home. Okay, and this is your uh, name section. Let's say I'm going to write it Heather Neas, and let's say this is my main theme. Now, if I think this doesn't looks too good, I have an option that I can either make uh, it less transparent or I can uh, make it full vi fully vibrant. So if you click over here, it will adjust your readability. Okay. Now there's one more option. If you don't want a picture, some people don't like to have a picture. You, what you can do is you can just click on reset and it will automatically reset this site for you. And if you think this uh, particular site looks too big and too, uh, too, uh, too large, so you can change your header type. So currently it's large banner. If you click on title only, it will just show your name. So just like simple, normal, if you have a name and it will show you uh, what kind of name you have, it will just show you that thing over here. So now if I, if you change from title only to banner, it will give you a, this option. 
and now you will also have an option to change an image because in the banner you can also have an uh, option to change an image so let's say i go for change image and select an image it will give me different options from the gallery which it already has if i want i can choose one of these if i want to uh, if i want to have a custom uh, custom image which I want to add I can just simply go to Google Drive or my albums or by just simply searching in URL let's say I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to go select I'm going to choose this one for myself so now if it looks too tall too tall on the top you can bring it down but uh, looks like you cannot bring it too much down because so when you drag this you can see that you can have an option to either place it here or you can have an option to place it here but you cannot drag manually in the top or the bottom so let's just keep in the center and let's just see what we can do with this one in the next slide okay let's just reset this one change image select an image again and then we are going to go with uh and let's say with this one and okay we are done okay guys so this part is done when you understand how to do this one so now let's say this is a section about me so currently it has covered only this much of space if you want you can extend it to a uh, longer length and you can extend it till here and you can simply drag it and drop it wherever you want so currently this is the main section and as you can see that they are doing something creatively which means if you want to add a space above for example if you delete it it is too close to that one so what you can do is you can add or insert a place so for inserting a uh, inserting a space above what you can do is you can just simply click an empty one say duplicate section you can see it's duplicated hold from here and drag it to the top so once you drag you can see there's another option over here which you can easily see now if you want to change the color for this one click on section background click on emphasis and you can change that one now if you want to change a different color click on this one or if you want to uh, upload an image you can just click on this one or you can if you want to upload an image you can go here upload and select whatever you want okay so currently it's like this and if you want to delete it you can just simply click here you can easily delete that one so let's just delete this one also and then we are done with this one now guys this is a section that they already created so like i said you can create subsections in your uh in your uh small sections over here so if you want to create a subsection what you can do is you can take a text box you can either reduce the length like this okay so once you reduce the length like this what you can do is you can extend it to whatever length you want okay so that's one thing so if you want to add an image you can add an image and you can click and add an image here so one way to add is images upload and one uh, image is to select so when you click on select you will have a predefined options from your google drive or somewhere and you can choose those okay i'm not going to show you that because it is going to access my google drive and uh, let's just uh, work on those things that we have so now if you can see that in the insert menu we have different options let's say layout so for this one if you want to change the layout for this one you can easily click on this one and it will give you that current layout that you uh, have asked for okay if you want a simple text one which is like simple text and everything you can easily use the ones that you have over here and you can easily manage all these ones okay so let me just delete these ones so you have less space and we can talk more about the things so once you delete these ones this is the first section that we are doing and if you want to add more sections remember how to do that you can easily select from the layouts and you can add them whatever uh, the way you want so for example this is three i don't want this one i can just simply click on this and select delete once it's done i'm going to extend this one over here so that it is extended and i'm going to have a big image now i will select here and i will say select image let's say where does it takes me if i take the google drive so i'm not going to go there and let's just leave it like this alone okay so guys this is so far when you are editing one single page so if you want to add another page for example if you click over here on pages you can see two different options which is home classes and activities so once you click on activities classes you can see math and art so now guys if you want to add one more section let's say one more and i'm going to say this is a contact okay if you somebody wants to contact me if you want to reach me out they can contact me with an email address now it is asking you when you're creating this new page it is asking you well if you go in advanced path so you don't have to do that so let's say if you are going to create a new page you are just going to select this one and it will show you contact now the thing is these are sections remember you can easily drag and drop and you can easily move them wherever you want so let's say 
I'm going to select this one and I'm going to drag it or see if yes I'm going to drag it and see if it can come over here so you can notice that once I click here and I drag it up it will show you a blue line and it will show you that this one is moved to the top now so if I click here and move it down it will come to the down now so now if I click on this one and click over here and say add a sub page that will do the same thing that it did for the classes so let's say email I will just make a small section of the email now you can see that over here when you go here you will have different options home classes activities contact and email okay so this is how you can do this part so you can go here if you want to delete it you can say that uh, hide from navigation okay it will not show over there or just simply click here and uh, I wonder if it has an option to, to delete this part okay so let's click here and properties and let me see okay you don't have an option to delete this I wonder if you have an option to delete this or not I, I think there must be an option I cannot find that currently so okay let's say if I have a shown option and uh, if you go to properties so let's just remove this and see what happens so if you click on done okay so uh, I'm sorry I cannot find how to delete this one currently so just bear with me okay so this is how you create a page and how you can create a subsection in any page okay so once let's say if you have this current context section so if you want to edit this part you need to go back to the insert section so once you're in insert section you have different options over here also it says do you want to collapse text or do you want to add a table of contents or you want to image carousel so I will explain this, explain to you what is this and I'm show you how does it works or you want to add a YouTube video so let's say if you want to add a YouTube video let's say Heather and Ayaz, I'm going to search my own name in my videos and see what I get to find. So let's say if I have this one, I will select this one and I will place it over here. Okay, so now once you place it over here, it is going to ask you some things. So it is going to ask, okay, now I have placed your video here. Tell me what do you want to do with this one? So you see, I can extend it to whatever length I want. So you say setting options, okay, hide controls. So slide out of view, don't hide normal fade, okay. Normal fade is okay. Red progress bar is red. Okay, let's say we want white and say allow full screen. Okay, and done. Okay, now if you want to see how does this looks in the preview, just click over here and it will show you how, how will it look like. So I'm in the home section. I go in the contact section and I see okay, there's a video. If you want to play, it will automatically play over here, which says that video is unavailable, which is because I'm in the preview mode now. So let's just skip it and go back and you can see this one over here. Now let's say if you want to add a map so click on the map and if you want to add any location let's say i want to add some location or drop a place mark if i click this one and let's say i want to add this location just click on select so now see guys you have your own current location if you want to give a location for your uh, home address or something else you can just click over here you can add section here and now let's say if you want to have this section and you also want to add a call text here say collect collapsible text click over here and just drag this one a drag this one over here and you can have simply text that you want let's say uh, contact me or just say address office address or university address whatever you want office address okay so you can easily write whatever address you want to write and you can easily show how does how do you want to show it like this okay so this is one thing that you can do or if you want to add a calendar you can simply add a calendar like this so hold this one, put it here, or double click this one, it will automatically place it for you. So currently it doesn't show anything. So it th I think if you have your own calendar, you can easily place that one over here because this is going to connect with your email address and will only show you the calendar dates that you have in your portfolio or something. Or that's something else we are not going to go in that much detail. So let me just show you the image carousel and we'll just go back and we'll show you the final version and see how it works like. So this is just a uh, tutorial video. Uh, someday I might make a uh, sample video for any of one of you for your research profile. So we can uh, we can see how does it looks like. So let's say if you have an image carousel and it is asking me to add images or let's say upload images which I currently don't have. So what I can do is I can just go to my previously ones and I will say open them. I will just upload some of the images from my previous videos and we'll see how it looks like so let's say if you have this one and i'm currently go to this one okay two 
and let's say i'm just going to take one more upload image and i will go back to the youtube section and then presentations now go back to youtube and uh, let's say i have this poster i'll just click in open this one open this one this one okay so now we have three images now if i click on insert it will add a beautiful image carousel for you guys okay so now you can extend this one bring it a little bit more bigger so that it has big enough can easily be viewed or let's say it's too big right now now it's visible for everything now you can see that these are three different images if you click over here it will take you into another image so let me just show you the preview and we'll, you will be able to see easily what exactly i mean so currently it's like this you can see that there's an option to move it to the next option and move to the next option guys i would like to close it from here and uh, if anyone wants me to make your website please reach me out by sending me a message on facebook or email in the link in the description i will get back to you and i will make a free website for one of you if you guys contact me so i hope you guys like this video if you watch my previous video do watch them and if you have any questions leave your comments down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible till then take care allah hafiz